I think I'm gonna get a lot of heat for the opinion that I'm about to drop like I'm on Reddit. I don't think the teaser is as bad as everyone is making it out to be. Before I get into it, remember that it's a teaser, not a trailer, meaning that things are probably gonna change and the eldritch horrors we are looking at may not be the final product. Also, the story might be good, you never know. Also, also, I'm gonna put Sabrina Carpenter over every clip of the teaser I play so they couldn't claim the video. Bunch of losers! Of course, initially I was repulsed by- but then after watching the teaser like 40 times, the first time with half-functioning headphones because that's literally the exact moment my right ear cup broke, no joke, I think my headphones really didn't like the teaser. After watching it so many times, I thought to myself, could they really have done better with the material they were given? Of course, it could have been animated. I wish it was animated. That would just make so much more sense, it would probably be so much simpler and less expensive. But I think Warner Bros wanted to try making a spectacle out of a Minecraft movie rather than pleasing a certain audience. Sticking to the live action style they went for. Imagine, you're one of the VFX artists working on this, and you were tasked with your final quest before you 100% the game. Make a live action Minecraft sheep. You, you are never 100%ing the game. You can't mix something so heavily stylized with real life without making it look so insanely cursed at first. I genuinely can't imagine a mix between Minecraft and real life that looks more appealing than this. And trust me, I am an imagination expert. If there's a dinner table etiquette expert, then there is an imagination expert. And he is me. I can imagine this apple. I'm honestly surprised they even managed to make anything recognizable, let alone cohesive. And you know what I really hate? I hate seeing people say stuff like, <laughs> This really short update trailer got more love and effort put into it than the freaking movie trailer. I specifically came to this video from the movie trailer because I needed to cleanse my soul. But it's like, do you really think it's the VFX artist's fault the movie was decided to be in live action? Do you really think the VFX artist put no effort into trying to please the audience and their executive overlords at the same time? Like, I'm pretty sure they didn't have much of a choice, and if they did, then they would go with the more reasonable option, which was to make it animated. I think they did a pretty good job, and it is a very hard job to do getting Minecraft in real life in the blender and still being able to recognize both ingredients in the result. Besides the people that had to key out the green screen, I cannot defend using real humans in this movie. I will join the hate bandwagon for that. But Dima, you're such a shill. The solution is as clear as day. Well, my dear, today is foggy. I believe that most of the reason behind the hate for how the teaser looks is that people don't like change and are used to the Minecraft trailer style we've been seeing for the past few years from Mojang. I felt that way too. Only after watching the teaser so much that I get used to the realistic Minecraft version and start hating it less and less, to the point where I'm fine with the way it looks now. Take the M3G80. Everyone hated it at the beginning because of its asteroid-sized grill. Now look at a lot of people's opinions on it a few years later. They're changing. I'm pretty sure this Minecraft movie will be just like that, as long as the story holds up, but I'll get to that later. Maybe out of the 14,605 possible Minecraft movies out there, one of them is a movie where they didn't try using excessive CGI to make everything look like real-life Minecraft. There is a Minecraft movie where they used actual Minecraft assets and blended the real-life humans so well that it actually looks like a convincing story. Plus, they gotta get these big-name actors on the screen, cause famous people equals instant success, right? Also, it's probably more approachable for audiences not familiar with Minecraft, aka Warner Brothers executives, although that audience is probably the minority and this style probably scares kids even though it's targeted at kids, so I don't know. Maybe this movie's point is to get kids away from Minecraft so that Minecraft YouTubers could- I'm pretty sure they titled it a Minecraft movie to let us know that it's just an interpretation of Minecraft, not a movie about the Minecraft that we know, which is why there are so many inconsistencies in the teaser as opposed to the game, and possibly why it's not in the same style as Mojang's animations, which is why I'm not as pressed about it looking the way it does. Also, think about our childhoods. Back in like 2017, everyone was all about the YouTube videos where they showed what mobs would look like if they had existed in real life, and we ate that sh up. If this teaser dropped back then, we probably would have loved it. In general, I think they got the aesthetic of real life Minecraft just about right. I think the most jarring thing is the way the pupils are just static and positioned the way they are in Minecraft. If they just changed those and let them move around instead of looking so derpy and lifeless, I think the mobs would be a lot more accepted. I think that's one of the reasons why the piglin designs are generally more accepted than the sheep and llama. And I mean, if you look at the bead design, it actually looks fairly decent because the pupils are in space and ocean apart from one another. And the proportions are all right. So if they just free the pupils, I think everyone's day would be made better. Wait, they, they do move. 
Wait, they literally- it looks normal in this frame. Why did they- Oh my god, I forgot this is supposed to be a funny gag movie, right? Man, I don't even know what my expectations should be for the plot anymore. I'm on so much copium. They should have just made their eyes completely black. Wait, actually, I made them round. I don't know how this is gonna look. I- I'm conflicted. And let's just be honest about the graphics of the teaser themselves. They look like really high-end shaders, and nobody dislikes how really high-end shaders look. I mean, half the comments on my entire channel are just asking for the shaders I'm using. Keep asking please, engagement is so high. I don't think asking people to subscribe on this video would be a good idea, though. Um, I'm gonna get so much hate for my opinion. I honestly don't think the style of Minecraft update trailers would make for a good movie. I recently saw an Instagram reel where someone remade the teaser in that style, and, well, sitting through an hour and a half of characters unable to move their mouths while speaking would probably make for a pretty uncomfortable watching experience. The most the characters could do is move their mouths like a few pixels. Of course, you can demonstrate a lot of emotion from just those few pixels moving around, but whole speech? I, I don't know, it's definitely possible, but I've personally never seen it, and I would love to be proven wrong. Post-edit me here, actually, I have seen it. Blue Monkey's animations are actually perfect renditions of the Minecraft trailer style blended with speech. But honestly, I think this style is better suited for an animated series rather than a movie. There's just no way I could ever perceive this style in a serious tone, and it has a hard time giving off a conflict mood, which is necessary for a hero's journey, which is basically the default necessity for a good story. On top of that, the mise-en-scene, which basically describes how all the elements in the scene work together to make you feel a certain way and immerse you, just simply cannot make the viewer feel the intended way with a style like this, since it's so incredibly bright, colorful, and and simple, which are the exact requirements needed to make a good display of all the features in a new update rather than make a good complement to a story. Basically, there's a lot of stuff working overtime behind the scenes to get a movie to be good. It's not just the story, it's also visual narrative storytelling. Tr trust me, I'm a film major, meaning my opinions are automatically fact. In the meantime, I think the movie absolutely should look along the lines of Minecraft story mode, but modernized to fit with Mojang's animations like having limbs that don't bend and stylized lighting and volumetric effects for cinematic spice, it makes for a lot more room for mise-en-scene to work its magic rather than being restricted to an extremely simple and limiting palette and set design. There's a fan-made story mode remake trailer I saw the other day that absolutely nails everything needed to make a great looking Minecraft movie, and if that was the style it was animated in, my theater seat would need a lot of cleaning. On top of that, if you look at how they changed their thumbnail, it's literally a perfect comparison between the original Minecraft story mode and a newer, more modernized adaptation of Minecraft story mode, which is really cool. Anyways, back to the teaser. The wide shots of the scenery and the backgrounds do resemble Minecraft. Everything is actually blocky, and I do really like how it looks. I'm sorry, Filza, but I like- I it looks Minecrafty, like how Minecraft would look like if it was in our reality. The problem is, it's people from our reality being transported into the game, not the game being transported into real life. Now it just doesn't feel like Minecraft despite looking like it. Warner Bros just kinda said, Minecraft is a game completely made of blocks, got it, and then forgot that all the blocks are supposed to be the same size and proportional to one another. Like Ultra HD 512 by 512 10 gigabyte texture pack completely aside, what are those gaps? What are these tumors? Why are these blocks huge and these blocks tiny? I think accurate proportions alone would have made the trailer look so much more authentic and better received by the people. Corridor Crew recently made a video going over all of that stuff in more detail. Also, just a side note, you know what really pisses me off? This scene. Not the extremely unfunny llama, the background. How did they get this roof wrong, but this roof right? That's not how stairs work. That is, it's like people who actually built in the game modeled this house, and people who heard Minecraft modeled this house. Make it make sense, and stop using assets that don't exist in the game. This would have looked so much better if it looked like this. It's like if you told AI to make an image of Minecraft terrain generation, albeit with a lot of mods. In fact, let's go through all the mods they installed to make this teaser. The Aether, Sodium and Iris for shaders, Create, Distant Horizons, Dynamic Trees, Entity Model Features and Entity Texture Features for fresh animations, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Universe compatibility mod, a Terraria mod, Chisels and Bits, Minecraft Legends, Physics Mod Pro, Minecraft Legends? Why is this thing here? I thought this was a Minecraft movie, but turns out it's a Minecraft Legends movie. That game flopped so hard they had to make a movie about it to try and get us to play. Apparently that's the Seer from Minecraft Legends and the Tesseract might be the Orb of Dominance but blue, just like the portal is supposed to be purple but it's blue. So I'm thinking the producer really doesn't like pink purple hues so they had them all color corrected to blue instead. I'm sure the portal is actually blue because it's supposed 
supposed to be a portal from Earth, since we clearly see a purple hue behind this character and the purple particles from the actual nether portal, so... Also, Jeb tweeted that the piglins aren't zombifying because they use nether warts to survive in the overworld, and guess where that feature is from? So I guess rest in pieces to zombified piglins for not existing anymore. Rest in pieces to illagers as well. Remember, solely judging from the teaser, we don't know if they'll have some significant role in the actual movie, but they have such incredible lore potential, and I would have loved to see it get expanded in this movie. But for some reason, the director chose to make piglins the antagonists instead. Why are piglins ransacking the villagers and not the illagers? To be fair, the director, Jared Hess, does make some wacky movies, so his motives may never be understood. But, according to Stampy, a lot of the heads working on this movie also worked on the Lego movie, and that checks out since it was also made by Warner Bros, so that gives me a lot of confidence regarding the story of the movie. Plus plus, Jared Hess's movies may be wacky, but they have so much soul. Napoleon Dynamite and Nacho Libre are some of my favorites, they're just so surreal and abstract, but in a storytelling sense. And guess what? Jack Black was the main character in Nacho Libre. He and Jared Hess already worked together and made something really enjoyable. So like, we can't really say anything about the plot yet, we can only judge what is shown. Uh, a small update, uh, Jack Black has apparently been acting like a baby when it comes to responding to all the backlash for the movie, so uh, yeah, take that as you will. One thing I do hate though is how he just kinda erupts out of fire here, like, how does that make sense? Did they forget Ender Pearls exist? That could've made for a much cooler and more accurate entrance, just saying. Emma Meyer's face is literally my reaction <laughs> when I first saw this. Scene. You know what else doesn't make sense to me? If every single thing from Minecraft is made to look blocky, including the animals, why isn't Steve blocky? Isn't he from the Minecraft world? And you're probably like, well, he's human too, so it wouldn't make sense if he was blocky. If that's the case, then why are the villagers here blocky? Sure, there's the argument that they're not humans, they're testificates, but they're still humanoid. There is a running theory that Steve ended up in the game just like the rest of the cast and was just stuck there for ages, so who knows? But if that's the case, then this is just Jumanji 3 and then there goes all hope for a good Minecraft story, I guess. And honestly, I don't think a Steve in the style of the rest of the mobs <laughs> would look very pretty. That would definitely drive all the kids away, probably all the adults too, if I'm being honest. Shit would be scarier than the Cat in the Hat live action adaptation. Also, I digress, but imagine the cast was all Minecrafty too, and they had ultra realistic skins, and Warner Bros had cameos in the movie with their skins being hyper realistic. You know what else doesn't make sense to me? This scene. I hate this scene so much. Still not as much as the unfunny llama background, but it's a close second. There's actually so many things wrong with this, it's crazy that this even got the green light to be shown in the teaser. First of all, the crafting table is tweaking. Second of all, why is there a battery with an eraser and what I assume is a piece of breaded chicken on the crafting table? Is this a hint for the 1.22 update, redstone power storage, more kinds of food, and the ability to erase this teaser from YouTube? Third of all, I'm not even gonna mention the wall behind Jason Momoa, I could make a whole 20 minute video about everything wrong on that wall. Fourth of all, what is even going on on that crafting? table. Also, they cut from the kid to Jason Momoa crafting, just thought I should point that out. Also, this animation for crafting sucks. Take notes, Warner Bros. Sixth of all, explain to me why they thought it's fine to directly copy the Trident model from Minecraft, albeit make it wooden for some reason, but not the sword model? What the hell is this? Why are there so many voxels on it? It's like two separate studios worked on the movie and combined their products into this abomination. It also looks so flimsy when a giant muscular piglin holds it. Uh, like, I swear, they, they probably use these as toothpicks. 